Hello, welcome to Passive Money. This is your host CJ. And today we're going to be talking about how to track your crypto profile. <music> Unlike in stocks, where every single stock is listed on practically every single brokerage, with cryptos, it's not the same. You'll find out pretty soon that Binance, Voyager, Cryptos.com, each of these only have a few certain coins. They don't have everything. And if you're somebody like me that like to catch new coins when they first come out, I am not able to see the coins that I want on any particular one exchange. For people like me that do not discriminate against small cap coins, I definitely go to other exchanges. So I have like a Gate IO exchange, I have KuCoin, I have Hotbit. Um, and the whole intent here is to be able to access coins wherever they are. Now, we all know when a new coin comes out, the first place that you see it is on where? Either PancakeSwap or Uniswap. So if you're familiar with cryptos, you will know that every new coin usually appears at PancakeSwap first. So I have access to all these exchanges, whether it's centralized or decentralized. But in order to keep track of all my cryptos, I want to be able to do all of that at one place. So I have purchases at Robinhood, I've purchased stuff at Binance, I have things in KuCoin, I have some coins with Hotbit, some with Gate, you know, and I've purchased some directly using my trust wallet from PancakeSwap. So, so today we're going to talk about how I track all my cryptos, you know, where I go, which website I use and how I keep track of everything. And I hope this will be of benefit to anybody that does the same thing that I do, which is buy things wherever they show up. I practically have 10 different exchanges, you know, give or take. And most coins only show up at one or two places when they first come out. So I want to be able to catch any coin wherever it shows up at. And at the same time, I want to be able to track it immediately. There's coins that you'll buy and within the first two three days they already made like you know three four five hundred six hundred percent you want to be able to keep track of this so if you need to sell you can sell if you want to hold on to it you can hold on but at least you are making an informed decision so let's go through this and let's see exactly what i do and how i do it all right so to track my cryptos i use coin gecko coingecko.com. Now there's also um, coin market cap for those that are familiar with this. The only reason why I prefer coin gecko is because they are faster with putting out new coins and you know for you to track any coin they have to already have it. So because coin gecko does you know they are really fast with bringing out you know with listing new coins I prefer going with them. So in order to proceed with doing this, the first thing that I usually do is let's just say that I want to add a, a new coin that's out there. Let, let me, let's go with baby, uh, maybe baby dodge. So with baby dodge, I would select the coin here. After you select it, you're going to go to, you'll see this make favorite button. So you click make favorite and then I would select add to my portfolio. Now, if you want to have different portfolios tracking different kind of coins, you can do that. For me, I have everything under the default, my portfolio. So I would click that. After I click it, you will see a pop-up at the bottom. At, you will see a pop-up at the bottom that's asking you to add transaction so from <clears throat> so from here you can add transactions you can add a purchase you can do a sell you can do a transfer so when you just bought something of course you will be selecting buy if you were to be selling 
it would be a cell and of course if you're transferring it from you know transferring it in or out um, of any exchange then it would be it would be transferred so let's go with the buy so let's just say that we are buying a coin uh, you know we bought this at one five uh, that's uh, eight zeros and one five let's say we bought uh, ten uh, what's this uh, you know ten billion right let's make sure zero 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 hundred billion so let's say we are getting hundred billion of these uh, for a dollar fifty so if you're just buying this like i usually do when i'm listing this i really just do it the minute that i bought it in that way you know it's you know seamless i don't have to forget about it and then start wondering what i purchased later um now coin gecko they also have a mobile app so if you you know you bought this on your phone you could also do this transaction on your mobile app on your mobile app um now you know he provides you with the date stamp and then what i usually do there's fees and notes i click that so if you paid any fees uh, to the exchange to buy this you can put your fees here um then the next thing i would do is i will put the exchange that i bought it on so in this case it's hotbit i already have it listed here as one of the things that i typed so i will click hotbit and i will submit uh, let's say I also got another coin um, along the line I would you know do the same thing again I would search the coin let's just pick any coin uh, let's go with ethereum I pick some ethereum maybe I bought this one at a different exchange that's fine the first thing that you have to do again is you know uh, click on the favorite uh, then click on my portfolio and then you will see that pop up to start your portfolio and add a transaction i go here whatever amount you bought it you adjust it now you guys should keep in mind coin gecko pulls this from different exchanges depending on who gave them the permission to pull it so some of the times the amount that you see would be from a different exchange and there might be a slight variation so always you know check the price per coin make sure that it tallies with what you purchased it for uh, then put the amount that you purchased maybe you purchased two of these i come down here i add where i purchased it from maybe this one i got it from voyager i got it from voyager i click submit i bought two and this now so now we have this in let's say we want to go back and check your portfolio all you have to do is when you log into coin gecko you go to portfolio what i did in my case is that i save i bookmark the portfolio app so anytime that i open it it takes me straight here so as you can see under your my portfolio you will now see all the coins that you if you own 100 coins all of them will be listed here uh, after you've added them and the great thing here with coin gecko is that it gives you the total your total investment it gives you the 24 hour change and then it gives you your total profit or loss on all of them now to further dig deeper or to get more details you, you could always just go into any particular coin and uh, find out more about how the coin is performing so i know we added ethereum now we added um, baby dodge let's i had ship here and safe moon here before so let's just assume that we're going with shiba inu uh let's see let's to see more details you click on view transaction now the one of the great things here is when you drill into any particular coin it would further give you the details so it will give you the value that you're holding it will tell you how many coins you're holding the average cost that you purchased it and your profit and loss now it gives you this for all the coins but furthermore you could actually find out more details on each of the coins so as you can see 
I have the first purchase here and that's you know for this first purchase I'm um, you know my profit on this so far is nine dollars on the next one it's you know one cent and then the third one is a sell so this is different we're going to talk about how to add a sell later so what happens with this is you're able to find out each particular purchase how it's doing a uh, great thing because you have the option of adding where you bought it from you're also able to track where you bought each of the coins maybe you bought this at one kucoin and maybe we bought the other one at hotbit you're able to separate where you bought it from and you know keep track of it so in case you want to sell it's also easy for you to just go in and you know you already know where it is so you know which exchange to go into to make the sale uh, let's go back to portfolio uh maybe let's take a look at one of the ones that we just added so maybe baby dodge uh, we can click on view transactions and you know see the details so this one we added you know you it would you know give you the total here but if you have more purchases it would sum it up here and then you know give you a breakdown of each of them at the bottom so for this we can also see so far you know it's showing us a pnl of uh, five dollar 22 cents if for any reason there's a mistake that you made when you're entering this you could always go and edit so you click on the edit button and you can go in and make adjustments let's say that you know you actually bought a little more you could actually fix you know the price or anything even if you bought it on a different exchange you can go and make changes to that to correct any um and any entry that's not wrong so that's that's one of the great features of this now let's say that you bought this and now you want to sell right or you want to sell portion of it so let's go to add transaction again as you can see we we we, we did the buy so now if you're selling you can do the sell let's say you know you saw some gains and you know you're looking to take some profit so you you know of course you put the amount that you sold let's say you're just you know you just want to sell you know 100 million of the coins uh, so far to take some profit so you make sure you've selected sell you put your sell price and you know the number of tokens that you sold same thing you know here you put where you sold it you know which exchange that you sold it on um and then if there's any fees you can also add that too and then you know you hit submit so once you hit submit it would also list this as a separate item so the purchase is separate the sale is separate but on top here it would also do a cumulative for you so you can now see uh, the balance that we are now holding has reduced by the 100 million you know the average coin has changed and same with the profit and loss so in this way you're able to keep track now the only thing here is that there's some manual process in it there's some websites there's some new apps that would say that they would allow you to do this automatically problem with most of them is that they don't have all the coins so you might buy some coins and you can add it there because they don't have the coin listed or they if they're doing it you know uh, automatically for you you they might not have the exchange that you bought it on so in that way they can sync to your calendar so what i've done i started off using one of those but i realized that there's a lot of coins that they do not have in their system and because of that i was losing track of some of my coins so what i did is i just came and added everything on the coin gecko coin gecko was you know yes i have to do some manual additions and subtractions but you know the great thing about this is that you know when you're dealing with this it keeps you close to your coins you know what you have you know you're able to keep track of what you own and also when necessary do further research on any coins you're holding uh, the problem with 
leaving this to be done remotely or automatically for you is that you lose track of what you have a coin may have even went a thousand percent and you don't even remember that you have it because you allowed the system to do it you know automatically so with coin gecko although it's manual there's a huge advantage the advantage of it keeps you close to what you own and um with this you're able to keep track you know you know keep track better so that so that's it that's how i track my cryptos um if you guys have any questions or you need help setting this up you know you can send me an email cj at passivemoney.io or you can just leave the comments below and i'll definitely you know do my best to get to all the comments and you know answer any questions that i see there if you guys love the content that you watch please like subscribe if you've not done that and hit the notification bell so you'll continue getting great contents like this also if you're new to CoinGecko, in order for you to start this, you have to sign up for an account, but it's free, it's easy, the process is straightforward. You have to just put your email and password and then verify your email address and bam, your account is set up. They don't charge any fees. And you know, because CoinGecko also has all these coins available, uh, and immediately they come out, they usually list these, immediately they come out. You know, it's a definitely better place to track all your coins. So thank you for watching. I wish you the best of luck in your crypto trading and see you on the flip side. <music>